Hey everybody, welcome to a brand new video. Today we're going to be talking about thumbnails. So, if you're a fellow YouTuber like myself, or if you're considering to create your own YouTube channel, hold your horses, watch this video, because today we'll be talking about three different methods of creating a thumbnail. Very, very simple, and you could actually say for free, also very simple, but with your laptop without Photoshop and from Photoshop. So three methods that are so bloody simple and quick. So yeah, let's get into it. All right, so why do you want to create a custom thumbnail? Before I answer this question, let me tell you something. Remember that everything is about the first impressions. And guess what? As YouTubers, the first impression to your videos is going to be through our thumbnails. Eh? So by creating your own thumbnail, instead of just putting something randomly for like a screenshot where you're like, <laughs> you know, you're going to create more engagement on your video. People are going to be like, oh wow, that actually does look interesting. And they're actually going to click on it, you know? So imagine you create this video, you spend so much time editing and recording, and at the end you're like, wow, this is something that I'm very proud of. But then you upload it to YouTube without a compelling thumbnail. No one is going to click on it, and trust me, I know that firsthand because I've done the same mistake. So that's what I meant exactly with first impressions. A really cool thumbnail is going to make the viewer be like, oh hell yeah, let's just click on that. So we're going to be tackling three different methods. Let's start with the first one. It's been very gloomy for the last couple of months. <laughs> so. We found that really cool horse though, so I decided to take a, a photo just for example's sake. All you need is pretty much your phone and the Instagram app, which let's let's face it though, if you're watching this video you definitely do have an account. So that is absolutely it. Go ahead and click edit. So once you get the editing mode, the first thing we have to do is change the direction of the photo. And YouTube work with the 916 ratio, which is 1920 times 1080. So to do that, we have to click this icon right here and select the option 916. Now you can just go ahead and play with your composition. Once you're happy, let's color grade it real quick. So let's go to the filters and you can choose the color your heart desires. Let's go ahead and click done. So what we have to do next is add some text. So for that, we're just going to Instagram. Shout out to my rig, by the way. All right, so let's go to our libraries. Let's select the photo and let's add some text. I'm not happy with this. I'm gonna click OK. And here comes the, the, the cool thing. Just turn it like so. And as you can see, we've got some, some guidelines. So th those are very, very important because th those are going to tell us where the middle is. So let's just create a second line. I strongly advise you to go ahead and check my, my last video because there I talk about font contrast. So you definitely do need to go ahead and check it after this one. I really like this one. So all you have to do is go ahead and click save. And lastly, let's go back to, to our photos. Let's click edit again and let's change the direction. Done. And there you go. That's going to be your thumbnail. So for the second method, we're going to be using an online editor and this is one of my favorites. It's called canva.com. So once here, all you have to do is create a free account and once you've created everything and you've logged in, you're going to get this window right here. So on this search box, go ahead and write thumbnail. And as you can see, there's a default YouTube thumbnail. So let's just select that one. So once here, you're going to get all of these thumbnails. You can literally just choose the one you like. We're going to be customizing the crap out of this. So the first thing I want to do is take this background and delete it. Let's go to uploads. And in my case, I'll be using this one right here. So I just click on it and then you can just change the size. So once I'm happy with this, I'm just going to click on a different part. Now let's change the text. That's pretty much it. So if you want to, in my case, I think I want to make this a little bit bigger. Bring this again, use your, your guidelines. So once you're happy, just go ahead and click download. I want the high quality image, so I'm going to go with a PNG and click download. And last but definitely not least, I'm going to be showing you how I like to create my own thumbnails within Photoshop. So once you've got Photoshop open, all you need to do is just go ahead to file and open. 
or, or in my case, I already have, know where the photo is, so I'm just going to click and drag it. There you go. So the first thing I want you to do is crop it to the right size and ratio. So, so on my keyboard, I'm going to click C, and that is going to bring the crop tool. If you don't get the crop tool, you can literally find it right here. So like I mentioned earlier, YouTube works with a 16-9 ratio, which means 1920 times 1080. So if you go to the left top corner, you're going to find different types of, of ratios right here. But if you don't happen to have that, all you have to do is on these boxes, just go ahead and write 1920, 1080. Or for future references, to work a little bit faster, click on this arrow and you can create your own crop presets. So now I'm going to create my text. So on your keyboard, just press T and that is going to bring the text to. So if you want to know what I'm doing right now, I strongly advise you to go ahead and check my previous video because in that video I discussed all the typography basics. Trust me, you definitely do want to check that video out because it's full of really cool information and definitely make sure you go and check it out. I'm going to make sure all the ratios are going alright. If you want to learn what I'm doing, again go ahead and check my last video. Now that you're 100% happy with your text, all you have to do is select all the layers and on your keyboard you're going to press Command or Control G and that is going to create a folder with a group. I'm going to select this one and then again on my keyboard I'm going to click Command or Control A that is going to select the entire photo and then we're going to move it. So go ahead and click the Move tool and then you can just center it by doing this combination and ta-da! As you can see that's a very cool thumbnail right there. Something that I like to do from time to time is I like to create a rectangle just to call the attention to, to this a little bit. So just make something very, very rough. Again, I'm going to select the entire photo with uh, Control or Command A. I'm going to move this to the center. And there you go. So let's just go ahead and save our work. You're going to go ahead and click on File, uh, Export, and Save for Web. This is going to bring this pop-up box right here, so all we have to do is select JPEG. I like to go with quality 100%, make sure that your size is right, and click save. So what did I just say? Very uncomplicated, very simple and killer results. Three different techniques that apply to everybody, it doesn't matter if you're a Photoshop expert or if all you have with you is just your phone. There is absolutely no excuse to create those really cool videos with really crappy thumbnails. If you like this video, do not hesitate to go bananas on that like button. And if you feel like being awesome, make sure you click on that subscribe button so next time I upload a video you get notified immediately. So thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video though. Bye! Oh shit! <laughs> Jesus! I have to say that I'm a little bit scared of horses and cows and sheep. So everything that's pretty much not a cat or a dog though.